Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what it would be like to live on another planet? Well, let's zero in on Mars, our closest planetary neighbor that could one day become our second home. Mars has captured the human imagination for centuries. Once just a bright speck of light in our skies, it's now at the forefront of modern space exploration. Could we ever call this distant, dusty red world our home? What would life on Mars really entail? With rockets launching more frequently and technology advancing rapidly, the idea of stepping onto the Martian surface isn't just science fiction anymore. Mars is not just a planet, it's a potential future for humanity. Unlike Earth, with its abundant life-supporting systems, Mars presents extreme challenges. Freezing temperatures, thin atmosphere, and vast deserts. Yet it also holds the potential for human colonization. Why Mars? It's similar enough to Earth to be habitable with help from technology, yet different enough to require us to push the limits of human ingenuity. As we delve deeper, we'll explore the technological advancements driving us toward Mars, the realities of daily life on the Red Planet, and the visionary ideas that could transform Mars from a lifeless desert into a thriving human colony. We're on the brink of becoming a multi-planetary species, so let's explore how we'll get there, what we'll need to survive, and what life will look like living on Mars. Mars Overview Physical Characteristics of Mars Let's start by looking at the basic physical characteristics of Mars. Mars is about half the diameter of Earth, specifically around 4, 220 miles or about 67 to 90 kilometers across. Despite its smaller size, Mars has similar land area to Earth because it lacks large oceans. When it comes to temperature, Mars is much colder than Earth. The average surface temperature is about minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 60 degrees Celsius, but it can vary widely from minus 195 degrees F at the poles during winter to as much as 70 degrees F near the equator during midday at summer. The Martian atmosphere is also drastically different from Earth's. It's about 100 times thinner and is composed of 95% carbon dioxide with only trace amounts of oxygen. This thin atmosphere contributes not only to extreme temperature fluctuations, but also to the planet's inability to retain heat. Comparison with Earth. Now let's compare Mars to Earth to put these figures into perspective. Earth's diameter is about 7,918 miles, making it about twice as wide as Mars. This size difference means Earth has a much higher gravitational pull, which significantly affects atmosphere and water retention. The temperature on Earth averages around 57 degrees Fahrenheit, or 14 degrees Celsius, which is significantly warmer than Mars. Earth's stable and life-supporting climate results from its thicker atmosphere, which is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and only about 0.04% carbon dioxide. Speaking of the atmosphere, Earth's is not only thicker but also capable of supporting water in liquid form, a critical ingredient for life as we know it. Mars, with its thin atmosphere, cannot support liquid water on the surface. It sublimates, turns directly from ice to vapor, or remains frozen in the soil and polar ice caps. In summary, while Mars shares some physical similarities with Earth, such as a roughly similar day length of about 24.6 hours, it presents a much harsher environment for human colonization. The challenges of extreme cold, a mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere, and lower gravity make Mars a difficult but not impossible place to live. Historical Context Brief History of Mars Exploration Mars has fascinated astronomers for millennia, but it's only in the last half century that we've begun to explore it directly. The journey to understanding Mars began in earnest in the 1960s with flyby missions, and since then, every mission has brought us closer to understanding the Red Planet. The first successful flyby of Mars was by NASA's Mariner 4 in 1965, which took the very first close-up photos of the Martian surface. These grainy images were our first direct glimpse of Mars, revealing a world of craters and hinting at its barren, desert-like environment. Following the success of Mariner 4, Mariner 9 entered Mars's orbit in 1971 and became the first spacecraft to orbit another planet. It revolutionized our understanding of Mars with comprehensive maps of its surface, including discoveries of ancient riverbeds and the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. The Viking program in the late 1970s took Mars exploration further with Viking 1 and Viking 2. These were the first missions to land on Mars successfully. They conducted experiments to search for life and sent back detailed color panoramas of the Martian landscape. Fast forward to the 21st century and you have the Mars rovers, Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity, each designed to explore the Martian surface more extensively than ever before. In particular, Opportunity exceeded all expectations, 
operating for nearly 15 years and providing invaluable data on the Martian environment. Recent missions and discoveries. More recently, the Curiosity rover landing in 2012 and the Perseverance rover landing in 2021 have taken Mars exploration to new heights. Curiosity confirmed the past presence of water in Gale Crater and analyzed samples that suggest Mars could have supported microbial life long ago. Perseverance, building on the discoveries of its predecessors, carries instruments to convert Martian atmospheric CO2 into oxygen, partly as a test for future human missions. It also brought along Ingenuity, the first helicopter to fly on another planet, demonstrating new technology for aerial exploration. These robotic explorers have been joined by missions from other countries as well. India's Mars Orbiter Mission, or Mangalyaan, and the United Arab Emirates Hope Probe are studying the Martian atmosphere and weather, while China's Tianwen-1 mission has placed a rover on the surface that's studying Martian geology and climate. Each mission to Mars builds on the past and paves the way for the future, not only in technology and scientific discovery, but also in inspiring the next generation of explorers. As we stand on the brink of human missions to Mars, these robotic missions are the scouts, mapping the way for those who will one day walk the Martian surface. Technological Challenges Transportation to Mars The journey to Mars presents a colossal challenge in itself. The distance between Earth and Mars varies from about 33.9 million miles at their closest to 250 million miles when they are on opposite sides of the Sun. This distance means a trip to Mars could take anywhere from six to nine months one way depending on the alignment of the planets and the speed of the spacecraft. Advancements in rocket technology are crucial for this endeavor. Companies like SpaceX with their Starship and NASA's Artemis program, which includes the Space Launch System, are at the forefront of developing vehicles capable of such interplanetary travel. These rockets must be not only powerful enough to escape Earth's gravity, but also efficient and reliable over the extended journey through space. Furthermore, the spacecraft must support human life for the duration of the journey, requiring robust life support systems, shielding from cosmic and solar radiation, and measures to counteract the effects of microgravity on the human body. Survival on Mars Habitat Once on Mars, astronauts will face the challenge of living in an environment that is fundamentally hostile to human life. Developing sustainable habitats is critical. These habitats must be able to protect inhabitants from Mars' extreme temperatures and radiation, and possibly utilize materials found on Mars itself to supplement or construct these habitats. Air Breathable air is another necessity. Mars' atmosphere is thin and dominated by carbon dioxide, so producing oxygen is essential. Techniques like the MOXIE experiment aboard the Perseverance rover are groundbreaking, as they convert Martian carbon dioxide into oxygen. Water Water is crucial for survival and the potential bottleneck on Mars. While there is water ice on Mars, particularly at the poles and just beneath the surface in some areas, extracting this water and converting it into drinkable form poses a significant technological and energy challenge. Food Food production must be sustainable on Mars. Initial missions may rely on pre-packaged food from Earth, but long-term survival depends on growing food on Mars. This might involve hydroponic or aeroponic systems, which are less reliant on soil quality and more efficient in terms of water usage. Health issues in Mars environment. The Martian environment poses several health risks to humans. The reduced gravity, about 38% of Earth's, could lead to muscle atrophy and bone density loss, as seen in astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Therefore, regular exercise and specialized equipment will be necessary to mitigate these effects. Radiation is another serious concern, as Mars's thin atmosphere offers little protection against cosmic rays and solar radiation. Prolonged exposure could increase the risk of cancer and other health issues, necessitating heavily shielded habitats and protective suits for astronauts. Psychological health is also a challenge due to isolation, confinement, and separation from Earth. Maintaining mental health on Mars will require careful planning, including regular communication with Earth, recreational activities, and perhaps virtual reality environments to simulate more familiar Earth-like settings. In summary, living on Mars is not just about getting there, but about sustaining life there. This requires overcoming immense technological hurdles in transportation, habitat construction, life support systems, and health management. Possible solutions. Innovations in space travel. To tackle the formidable challenge of getting to Mars, both government agencies and private companies are innovating rapidly. NASA's Mars plans include the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon as a precursor to Mars, testing technologies and systems that would be used for longer Mars missions. SpaceX, on the other hand, is developing the Starship, a spacecraft designed for deep space missions that can carry up to 100 people. 
This fully reusable spacecraft is central to SpaceX's goal of making life multi-planetary. Its high capacity and reusability could significantly reduce the cost of space travel, making Mars missions more feasible. Both NASA and SpaceX are also looking into the use of in-situ resource utilization ISRU technologies. These would allow astronauts to produce fuel, water, and oxygen directly from Martian resources, thus reducing the need to transport all supplies from Earth. Potential Habitats Habitat Designs When it comes to living on Mars, the design of habitats is crucial. These structures need to be resilient against Mars's harsh environmental conditions, including extreme cold, radiation, and dust storms. One promising approach is the use of regolith, the loose material covering the Martian surface as a building material. Concepts like NASA's 3D printed Habitat Challenge have explored how regolith can be used to print durable housing structures directly on Mars. Other designs include inflatable habitats with rigid cores, which can be compactly transported and then expanded on site. These habitats are designed to be buried under regolith to protect against radiation or to incorporate materials with radiation shielding properties. Generating necessary resources. Water. To generate water on Mars, missions could tap into subsurface ice deposits. Heating the ice or using chemical techniques to release water could provide a steady supply for drinking, farming, and other needs. Air. Producing breathable air is another critical requirement. Technologies like the MOXIE experiment on the Perseverance rover are groundbreaking. MOXIE, or the Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, has successfully demonstrated converting Martian carbon dioxide into oxygen. Food. For food, relying on shipments from Earth is not sustainable. Hydroponics and aeroponics, which involve growing plants without soil and minimal water, are promising solutions. These systems can be set up inside controlled environments, ensuring fresh produce for Martian settlers. Genetic engineering might also play a role in optimizing crops for the Martian environment, making them more resilient to possible stresses like lower light levels or higher radiation. Innovative solutions for space travel, habitat construction, and resource generation showcase our growing capability to not just visit, but also live on Mars. These advancements bring us one step closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. Life on Mars. Daily life scenarios. Imagine waking up in a habitat on Mars. Your day starts with checking the environmental systems that manage your air, water, and warmth. Essential tasks on a planet that cannot support human life outside a controlled environment. After breakfast, grown in the habitat's hydroponic garden, your workday begins. For scientists and engineers, this might involve geological surveys, equipment maintenance, or research in a variety of fields. Communication with Earth is also a regular task, although every message is subject to a time delay of up to 20 minutes one way. Physical exercise is crucial due to Mars' lower gravity, so part of your day is spent in the habitat's gym. This not only helps maintain muscle and bone density, but also helps mitigate the psychological strain of living on such a distant planet. Leisure time might involve digital entertainment, reading, or engaging with fellow colonists in social activities arranged to enhance group cohesion and mental health. Social and psychological aspects. Living on Mars would be profoundly isolating in ways we might find difficult to comprehend from an Earthbound perspective. The small size of initial colonies could intensify feelings of claustrophobia and isolation. Moreover, the significant delay in communications with Earth means instant support or counseling would be unavailable, which could make the psychological environment as challenging as the physical one. To address these challenges, Mars missions would likely incorporate rigorous psychological training for all participants, similar to what is done for Antarctic expeditions or submarine tours. Social structures and activities would be designed to support mental and emotional health, emphasizing the creation of a tight-knit community where every member actively supports the others. Governance and Law on Mars As for governance, Mars colonies would require a new legal framework. Initially, Martian law might mirror the international treaties and national laws applicable to space stations, which emphasize cooperation, peace, and scientific discovery. However, as the population grows, more complex legal systems would be needed to address property rights, resource management, and even criminal justice. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which provides the basic framework for international space law, bars any nation from claiming sovereignty over celestial bodies, which complicates the ability to govern a Martian colony. New agreements would need to be drafted to address these issues adequately. Moreover, the governance model on Mars could take many forms, from a direct democracy where all inhabitants have a say in decisions to a more structured approach where elected representatives manage the daily administrative duties. 
Technology would likely play a significant role in facilitating governance with digital platforms enabling the democratic process and ensuring transparency. In conclusion, life on Mars will not just test our technological prowess, but will also challenge our social constructs and psychological resilience. The successful colonization of Mars would therefore not just signify a triumph of engineering, but a significant evolution of our social systems and a new chapter in human history. Impact on Humanity Changing Perceptions of Life and Technology The successful colonization of Mars would fundamentally alter how we view life and our place in the universe. Historically, all of human existence has been confined to Earth. Stepping onto another planet as a place to live and work would expand the very definition of home to a cosmic scale. It would not only prove that human life can adapt to extraterrestrial environments, but also possibly pave the way for future exploration and colonization of other celestial bodies. Technologically, living on Mars would drive innovation at an unprecedented rate. The necessity of developing systems that can support human life on Mars would have spillover effects on Earth, potentially leading to advancements in renewable energy, recycling and waste management, water purification, and even agricultural efficiency. The technologies developed for Mars could help us solve some of the most pressing environmental problems on Earth. Potential Cultural Impacts Culturally, the colonization of Mars would likely influence almost every aspect of human culture, from art and literature to politics and philosophy. Mars colonies could develop their own cultural identities, shaped by the unique challenges and experiences of living on the Red Planet. This could lead to new forms of artistic expression, new literary genres, and even new philosophical schools of thought that contemplate the isolation and new beginnings inherent to Martian life. Moreover, the very idea of a multi-planetary humanity could shift global perspectives toward a more unified view of human identity. The common goal of thriving on Mars might help transcend terrestrial divisions, promoting a more global or even solar perspective on human cooperation and peace. Space exploration has always brought humanity together, exemplified by the international cooperation seen on projects like the International Space Station. Mars colonization could take this to a new level, necessitating cooperation not only between nations but between private and public sectors, scientists and laypeople, technologists and environmentalists. In addition, the way we govern Mars might also influence future Earth policies, particularly in terms of resource management and environmental protection. The lessons learned from creating a sustainable life on Mars could inform global policies on sustainability and even inspire more stringent stewardship of Earth's resources. In conclusion, the impact of living on Mars would resonate well beyond the technological and scientific achievements. It would potentially herald a new era of human civilization marked by expanded horizons, shifted cultural norms, and a redefined understanding of what it means to be human. Conclusion We've traversed the possibilities of living on Mars, exploring the challenges of the Martian environment, the innovative solutions for sustainable life, and the profound impact such a step would have on our society and culture. The venture to Mars extends beyond scientific and technological achievement. It represents a new frontier for human ingenuity and resilience. As we move closer to making Mars a second home, we're not only testing our capabilities, but also opening a gateway to redefine what it means to be human in the cosmos. This journey challenges us to innovate and to think globally and universally, pushing us to not only thrive on a new planet, but also to bring back valuable lessons that could improve life on Earth. Thank you for exploring these possibilities with me. Mars beckons, not just as a distant red dot in the sky, but as a potential new chapter in the human story.